I'm Hunter. This is the Family Showdown! Today, Nessa and I are going to go through her top 10 favorite games. So, Nessa, let's begin. What do you say? Yeah. This is your number 10. What game is this? Animal Pun Animal. Animal Pun Animal. Okay, and what do you like about this game? I like about this game putting animals and falling down getting those bag. Okay, and it is a very fun game. You have little, very sturdy, beautiful little wooden pieces, and you stack them, and you take turns stacking them, and whoever gets rid of their pile of animals first wins, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's our number 10, Animal Upon Animal. <laughs> All right, Nessa's number 9. What game is this, Nessa? Camp. That's right, this is <laughs> camp. And what, what do you like about camp? What's your favorite part? My favorite part about camp is putting little fishies down and counting how many spaces you go on the dice. Yes, this is a roll and move trivia game and it's actually scaled for different levels of learning. So Nessa can start at level one and Hunter and I usually play at level four. Caitlin's level three now because they're all we're all nature nuts. And it's got trivia. So you roll and move. And Nessa is good at rolling and moving her own pieces and actually learning a lot about nature and wildlife. So that's a really good game. And that is camp. Camp, yeah. All right. Camp, Nessa's camp. number eight. Which game is this, Ness? Here, fishy, fishy, yeah. Here, fishy, fishy. So what makes this game so much fun? This game is about... If you roll a dice, whatever color you get on a dice, you pick it. Mm-hmm. You get to roll for and you get to go fishing for that. Again, this is another awesome hobby game and beautiful sturdy wooden pieces, strong magnets, and you roll a dice and whatever, and it's colored the same as the little fish um, that are on there. And yeah. so they're learning colors and shapes. She's kind of outgrowing this one, but we love the fishing part of it still. And this little puzzle you put together and Still a very popular game. Her number eight, Here Fishy Fishy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number seven. Which game is this, Nessa? Feed the kitty, I know you. Feed the kitty. Okay, so what do you do in Feed the Kitty? In Feed the Kitty, you roll the dice. If you get two arrows, you get to put the mouse so, to someone else else to the people and if you roll a food dish you put it in the bowl yeah and if you roll sweetie kitties nothing happens right yeah nothing happens this is a great game for counting and rolling dice and um, taking turns oh. and you've got little wooden pieces what and when you roll the mouse you get to save him back to your mousey that's right and <laughs> It is a, it can be either a really quick game or a really long game, and you have a certain number of mice, and you roll the dice, and depending on what's going on, you're either feeding the, the mice to the kitty, or you're trading them with each other back and forth, and whoever, it's kind of like uh, um, whoever gets rid of theirs, I mean, I'm sorry, whoever is left with them is the winner. Whoever loses all of their mice is the loser. So it's a cute little game. Feed the kitty. Yeah! You like that one, huh? All right. We're down to number six. This one's a family favorite. What's this? Rampage. Rampage. This is also called Terror in Meeple City. I think that's what you'll find it in the stores as now. And what makes this game so awesome, Nessa? Sit up. Sit to up to make it so awesome that you use your dinosaurs and you put the dinosaurs way up high and then and then. Just drop it down and get the people back. <laughs> yes. There you are basically little Godzillas and you are destroying a city, huh? Yeah. And you get to take all of the meeples that fall off of the buildings and stuff. And it's it's hilarious. The and pieces they, are awesome. And they always whack into the mouth. Yes, they do, huh? Yeah. And you can do different things. You can flick buses. Nessa particularly loves the flicking, although she usually needs a little bit of assistance with some of those things, so we help her with that. But she has a blast playing this. All ages have fun with this. Every time we pull this game out, it's really fun. So if you're looking for a family fun game, Rampage is definitely a hit. So that is your number six. All right, we're down to number five. 
What's this game, Nessa? Don't miss stuff Oops. Take care about you now. All right. <laughs> Add for Doc McStuffins. She's got cute little magnetic strips. Hold out your arm, Nessa. She's got a a boo boo. And that's <laughs> is that a is that a boo boo? Yep. What's on the inside of the boo boo? Can you show everybody? Show the camera what's on there. You and you know it is. What is that? It's the stethoscope, right? This it's got thing. the two names of the tools on pictures of the tools, and then they've got cute little foam pieces, and it's basically a memory game, and. I believe we found this at Walmart or Target. Um, hopefully they still sell it. It's a little spin spinner game. And you spin and the, you pick up boo-boos. And you have I to remember what pieces you get and match them up for the win. And Nessa was went through a very huge Doc McStuffins phase. Oh, are you listening to my heart? Yeah. <laughs> and we played this one a lot, don't we? Your heart is very good. Oh, good. I'm glad yeah, to hear yeah. it. <laughs> okay. So that is our number oh, five. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And then, and then you turn this, and mm -hmm. and if you get a band aid, you take another one. And if you, and if you roll a tool, then you give you other tool. Yeah, I, I already explained that part, so we're good. We got that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a good one. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Number four is another family hit. What's Foxy Lexi Paul. Well, it's called Out Foxed. We call it Foxy Woxy at the house, don't we? Yeah. And this one's really great. Um, kids so and adults love it because it doesn't, it's not just roll and move and it's a mystery. So what happens? What do you have to do in this game? Do you remember? And if you, if you want to roll suspects, you roll. And if you don't get suspects, then the fox moves. That's right, the fox. There's a fox and he stole a pot pie and he's trying to get away. And you have to figure out which fox is the guilty one before he escapes to his hole at the end. And so there's a lot of deduction and there's some dice rolling and they get to either look for clues or reveal suspects and try to guess who it is. So this one's really popular with both the girls and still going strong as number four, outfoxed. Okay, Nessa, your number three game. Yeah! Hungry Hippos, that's Sophie. Yeah, all right. Hungry Hippos. And yes, this is one I had when I was a kid too, although I must say I don't think it's as well made as it used to be. But ours is still surviving, oddly enough. You've got marbles, and I think everybody knows Hungry Hippos. You can find this one at any of the mainstream stores. And this one can be played for hours on end, huh? Although they do get stuck. I will give you a warning. The price point is low, but it can cause issues pretty easily, too. And the hippos get stuck, and when your hippo is all stuck, the other people win. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. It's true. But you know how to get them unstuck so that doesn't happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Yep. And then you just, hey, it actually works now. This one. <laughs> hey, this one. Case in point. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Wait, yep. This one's always. Well, that's because you're not playing. It's working when you're not playing, right? But anyway, that is for number three, Hungry Hippos. All right, number two. I think it has been replaced because it used to be number one. What's this game, Nessa? Well, it's a usual what's your, what's your damage, two? but that's a little super tooth. That's right, super tooth. So what? What do you collect in this game? You collect and you collect some dinosaurs and mm -hmm. and and. And and you put down the cards and which what whatever, do you trade them in for? And you trade them in for a tooth, and then and and whatever gets the most teeth wins the game. That's right. Here's the little teeth. You can see them. They're nice, sturdy cardboard pieces, so they, they're not prone to bending, at least in our family. And I love Brachiosaurus. Yeah, you you have set collection with yep, Brachiosaurus. We'll show everybody the Brachiosaurus. It's your favorite card. There's Nessa's favorite. Yeah. And it's fun. They learn dinosaur and my, names. And my favorite is you. Which one? Which one? Oh, the Apatosaurus? Yeah. You know how to say that. I love these guys. They're and sometimes awesome she will collect them to her detriment, even if she doesn't have a set. She'll collect those. But it's a really fun game. You set collection, teach them to take turns. Let's so turn around. Face the camera. All right. And for your number one, what game is this? Bean game. The bean that game. It's called My First Bonanza, but it's really a bunch of different little beans on cards. 
and this one is a little more advanced. Nessa sometimes needs a little bit of coaching with it, but she's gotten to the point now where um, she's able to play it on her own. And you have beaten fields, so you have these little mats. You do have to be careful with them. They're slightly fragile, but I think it would be easy if something happened to either laminate them or, or reprint them or something. And you've got cards. And again, it's another set collection, but the way this one is, is you're, you're taking turns and trading and doing a lot of trading, and so it causes you to think, careful, it causes you to think a turn or two ahead. So you're learning how to think ahead with this game, which is really good. And when you flip them over, there's your money. So when you turn in sets, you just flip one over and you keep one as a coin, which I think is really clever. Cuts down on all the extra pieces that they might lose. And then lose. when you're done, mm -hmm. you, um... What do you do at the end? Do you remember what we do at the end? Yeah, you count your gold... And mm -hmm. if you, and if you have the most goals ahead of the people, you win. And if you don't, then you lose. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the most coins at the end with your collection wins. And it's a really cute game. This is a the kids' version of Bonanza, which yeah. is a fun game too, and um, really not that much more complicated than this. I think they did a really good job da, 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 of, of da, da, simplifying da, da, it so that kids could learn da, 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 da. it. So this varies um, in scale, obviously. Some of these, like Bonanza, is a little more complicated. Um, it took some, you know, it took some trial and error and some help um, to learn how to play them. And other games, depending, you know, on how many games that your kid plays, you can pick them up right away and play them. They're a blast, and we have a lot of fun with them. So just try them out and see what you think is a good fit for your family. Yeah. All right, tell everybody bye. Bye. See you bye.